Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and this is going to be a brief little review for the really awesome Matthew Vaughn flick, Kick-Ass. Uh, I can't tell you how invigorating this movie was to watch for the very first time today, and uh, primarily stars, and I'll have to look at the cover because I'm still learning these names, but uh, Aaron Johnson, Christopher mintz Plasse, Chloe Grace Moretz, Mark Strong from Sherlock Holmes, as well as Nicolas Cage and others, um, you know, based, of course, on the comic, and... Uh, Wow, what a movie. Um, you know, basically the story is this kid, Dave, is like average comic geek. You know, he, he's used to being the invisible kid in school. And frankly, aren't we all? Uh, but, you know, he basically asks himself the question one day, why has nobody, you know, tried to become a superhero? That type of thing. And uh, so he decides one day to actually try it. Uh, he gets a scuba gear suit sort of tweaked out to look like a superhero costume. And uh, much like a, you know, sort of wannabe vigilante uh, would go out in the real world, he promptly gets his ass beat and um, actually gets a knife in the gut. Ends up in the hospital. They have to put, you know, metal plates in. He's got nerve damage and stuff like that. And, uh, but as it turns out, as he's about to hang up the costume, uh, the flirtations of a girl as well as uh, the sort of realization that other people are actually putting costumes on and fighting crime, in this case, the father-daughter team uh, Big Daddy and Hit Girl, um, and then there's another character in a costume later on called Red Mist, um, he basically, you know, tries to give it another go. As it turns out, uh, this is a really, you know, I thought it was going to be all about kick-ass, but there was a lot to do with the uh, father-daughter team as well, who, uh, he's an ex-cop, and the mother you know, killed herself, and uh, he's been training the daughter to be a crime fighter because he wants to take revenge on this huge sort of, uh, you know, kingpin of crime in town, which is Mark Strong's character. And uh, so, as it turns out, they think Kick-Ass is the one, you know, to blame for all of their guys getting killed and stuff like that. And the, you know, the, the thug kind of goes out and kills somebody who's dressed as Kick-Ass, thinking it's the real guy. Turns out to be just a fanboy. And uh, so, it's a real roller coaster ride. Lots of laughs, lots of gore, awkward moments. Just really, really awesome film from beginning to end. And, uh, you know... <laughs> I really was impressed with it. This really makes me want to go and pick up the comic series. I, I haven't had, you know, any uh, sort of inkling to before this. And so now I'm really curious. I want to pick that up. I know it's still ongoing. And I'm really hopeful, as the rumor suggests, that a sequel is coming. Because, wow, if you haven't seen this movie yet, I implore you to go out and check it out as soon as possible. But uh, that's going to be pretty much all I have to say on it. I was really wowed by this movie. And... Uh, you know, dig it. So uh, otherwise, I'll catch you all later. Peace.